Hey everyone, this is Matthew from Willicurity. This video is going to be showing you on how to install, I'm sorry, on how to um, hook a victim browser. So we are going to be using a tool called BeefXXX. So BeefXXX is uh, a browser exploitation framework. So the XXX means cross-site scripting. So we are going to be using a cross-site scripting vulnerability to um, hook our victim browser. Um, this brief here will be our victim browser. We have to be have to be on same network. I'm not using a reverse proxy. So if you want to attack people outside your network, that's when you use a reverse proxy. So I'm I'm attacking I'm I'm attacking a victim inside the network. So I'm also the victim. So that's why I'm using brief. So I'm going to my Kali back. The Kali machine will be the attacker machine. So let's get to the installation part but first this video is for educational purpose only so i'm going down going down 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 so this link is going to be um put in the description so you can just click on it straight and it's going to land you on this page so how to install so you go down you can read more about beef so beef is a very a very good tool for pen testers so you can to do you can see this command how to install so you copy it so now before we paste it what are we going to do first let's try to update our kali so i'm not going to run the command but try to run the command i've updated my kali earlier so i don't need to update again so sudo the command is sudo apt get update so you are going to install it so i'm just going to cancel it so the next command is what we copied so sudo apt install beef xxx so i'm going to click on my kali terminal then i'll paste it so sudo apt install beef xxx then i click enter mine is installed already so that's why i say this is already the newest version but your yours is going to show a very long list so then it's going to ask you on y or hen just type your y then press enter then you wait for it to install so it will install directly into your kali so and know that this beef ssl does not come with your kali so you have to install it and that is why we are installing it but on other distro, it might be pre-installed like Parrot. I think it's pre-installed on Parrot. It's pre-installed on Parrot. Pre-installed on Parrot, but on Kali, it's not pre-installed. So you just have to install it. So I'm going to minimize this. So how to install, you can see we have done that. Now to run it, we type this. Like beef SSX is what we are using to run the um, tool. So I'm going to copy it, then go back. To my terminal then i'm going to paste okay it's telling us we have to run it as root so to run as root you use your sudo so i'm type my sudo then i'm pasting it again if xxs so now this is your first installation so it's asking you for a password so i'm going to type my password to um to authenticate so i'm going to type my password Okay, so and beef is run on the web, so it's, it's a UI basis user interface because I can see opening web UI and the IP address with the port number. So it's going to automat automatically go to my browser to try to uh, um, display the um, beef you can see here, but yours might be this issue, but don't worry, we can just click on OK and it's not going to bring anything, but just to go to the um page you just you can see open web ui just copy this copy this then i copy the link address then i'm going to paste it here on my browser then oh oh, oh sorry i copied the brackets <laughs> okay you can see now that it brought up a user interface of beef so I'm going to log in. I think the username is beef. Then the password you use when you are setting it up. Then 
I'm going to save it. So you can see beef now. You can see the official website getting started with beef. It's going to show you a lot of um instructions so you can see online browser and offline browser so this online browser means the browsers that are online you can send the link to as many browsers as you want and you are going to see it listed down here it's just like a c2 server where a command and control server where you are controlling um, um uh, a, a remote system and stuff like that so online and offline browsers so you can see logs so that's um just to show you if there's any error you can see what issue you have with the error and stuff like that then zombies so let's start with hooking browser so now let's if you want to hook any page uh, if you want to hook any page for the bug raising of code drag the following hook mark we don't need this before before being able to fully exp explore framework you have to hook a browser to begin with you can point a browser toward the basic demo page so it gives us a demo page. We can use a demo page for hooking. So, and also you can attach your own page. Instead of using demo page, you can attach your page to it. Just like you cloning a page and injecting the cross-site scripting, um, the cross-site, the script, sorry, the script into your cloned site and um, using it for hooking. So, but we are going to be using the demo page for this tutorial. So I'm going to click on here you can see demo page here so if i click on demo page it's going to move to another page you can see you should be hooked in the beef so this is the demo this is the link you are going to be sending for for your uh for your victim so your legitimate victim so it's going to hook this is the link so i'm going to go back to my back you can see now here a browser is being hooked because I clicked on that link so you have to be careful clicking on links so um, you can see a browser is being hooked that is my home browser this browser that I'm using is being hooked you can see many things but our main target is this browser we want to hook this browser outside this Kali so I'm just going to copy this link I'm going to copy this then I come here then i paste it then you can see this 127 is local host it's not going to run so we have to use the ip address the um private ip address of our kali and paste it here so i'm going to open another terminal so okay uh, let me open another terminal then let me increase it so then i type my if config then i copy this oh i'm supposed to give it um let me change my bridge to a nut so um my nuts to a bridge so it's giving me the private ip carries ip so i'm going to disconnect and let's back so my beef should keep running okay my brief is running and my browser is intact and okay i'm going to type my if config again then that's giving me a private ip address so you can see 192.1c.48.30 so i'm going to copy this and i'm going to paste it here then now you can see that uh, the page is being um loaded so now let's go back to our uh um beef and check and let's reload now you can see this is the new browser which we have hooked so now you can see logs command proxy xss real network you can see it 192.48.30 so let me check the ip address of my main system to confirm so i'm going to if config 
so you can see dot 130 racing is same thing 190 doesn't say dot 40 dot 130 so we have put the browser which is on this main system ip so what do we do next now we have to control control this browser we can see command logs detail now let's click on getting started we are still on getting started now you can see this each command mode has a traffic like icon so this green means it will work against it it will work for the target this this one means the command mode will work against target but may be visible to the user so this um gray or hash the command mode is yet to be verified so the red means the command won't work so if you see red the command is not going to work on the target so let's control the target let's click on this again um okay current browser now let's go back to command now you can see browser chrome extension debug means network persistence so as social engineering so first let's let, let's pick on browser you can see a lot of green now you can see a lot of green see the third last pass the third mime the third many things but i'm going to try one just for an example i'm going to be redirecting the browser so you can see now this is the browser i'm going to redirect it to google.com so i'm going to come here to my to the um uhi then i click on redirect browser so i'm going to just change what i want to redirect the victim i want to redirect the victim to a page to another page so an attacker can redirect you to a phishing site to a, to a malicious site so you have to be careful on clicking link i'm saying it for the second time so uh let's continue so https google google.com then when when you have typed in the redirect url you can you click on execute because if you are if you don't click on execute nothing is going to happen here so if i click on execute then you can see sending command sent to zone zombie now it's ready now if we go back we can see now it has been redirected so it has redirected to google so you, let me go back to my beef so you can see it works so perfectly so uh you can also check the um user history and so many other things replace redirect browser iframe uh redirect to recrawl the face um okay let's um redirect an iframe so it's going to be it's going to maintain let's do in such a way that it's going to maintain this ip address but it's going to show google.com so it will be in an iframe to be in a box so i'm going to just change this to https ps um google ps um google.com then i click on execute so it's going to send the command ready now if i go back oh so i think google don't allow um um google now don't allow um their site to be loaded in an iframe i think due to a like, click jacking or stuff like that click jacking mostly click jacking but you can try other sites they may allow um their site to be loaded on an iframe so i think they they resolve the issues and stuff like that so you can see many other things so um let me go back to my command i can see debug exploits the exploit that work cisco many exploits that work on your on the browser i can see social engineering text to voice fake flash update fake notification bar um, google phishing pretty theft so um this is how um an attacker can hook your browser just using a link you just have to just click on that link and you are done so kindly always verify a link or don't even click on link that is not coming from a legitimate source even if it's coming from a legitimate source try to um do research on that link to check if it's malicious or you can check 
you can um go to virus total so many sites url scan.io to scan the url and check if it is a legitimate um if it's a legitimate link or not so and again this tutorial is for educational purpose only so thank you very much and subscribe for more and also you can check my uh you can check my social media is to it's on the description you can see i'm offering courses for penetration testing and um some and some cyber security courses and also i offer um tutorial on advanced um hacking on advanced penetration testing so like and subscribe for more thank you